prisons and jails are excluded from evacuation orders. They have their own protocol. And that protocol is almost always to shelter incarcerated people in place and for civilian staff and corrections to flee. This has been the precedent in this country for decades, whether it's wildfires, tornadoes, hurricanes, the prison population, incarcerated individuals will be left to live or die however things shake out. And these facilities only obligation they are expected to meet is providing food and water prior to staff's evacuation. And what that looks like typically is tossing a bunch of shit from mess in dorms, locking people in and telling them to fend for themselves. And it's never enough. People are routinely abandoned in prisons and jails in this country on purpose during disasters. There is no plan to get them out because nobody cares that they die. I'm forever haunted by what happened at OPP, Orleans Parish Prison, during Katrina, in which with chest high water, inmates were left to fend for themselves, civilian staff and corrections were made to flee, and they were given instructions by police and the commissioner to shoot inmates trying to evacuate on site. That happens a lot, way more than people realize. It happened during Harvey in Texas. They abandoned federal facilities that house inmates. It happens during wildfires in California and Oregon. It happens across the Eastern seaboard during hurricane season and tropical storm season. When we had Hurricane Ian in New York, they did not evacuate Rikers. Rikers is on an island. During Hurricane Maria on Puerto Rico, they did not evacuate a federal prison that housed over 1,400 people. So when you're thinking about the people who are made immobile by policy, by legislative efforts, by poverty and disability, you need to also be thinking about the incarcerated population who are going to be forced to shelter in place and hope to hell that they can make it.